What's going on guys? Having another morning with Brucey boy. He actually just peed on my shoulder, hence why I'm shirtless. Uh, so yeah, be sorry, be sorry. But I've got to film this intro today because we are going to be doing another max day today for the Chadra Cut. Things have been super crazy the past couple weeks. Uh, I've been busy with a lot of new stuff going on in life. And <laughs> look at Bruce, he looks so cute. He's looking at the camera. If I get this camera too close to him, he's going to jump on the camera. So I've been keeping these uh, maxing videos, or at least the past maxing video, uh, kind of short and sweet just because that's really all we're covering in the videos for one. Uh, but for two, it's just been so crazy that I've been having a really hard time uh, filming everything for the day. So the next few like childhood cut videos are going to be focused mainly on just maxing out. Um, and then after we get all the maxing out done, I'll try and spend a little bit more time focusing on different types of workouts that we're going to be working on. Uh, because I do want to try and teach you guys a bunch of different styles and introduce you guys to a lot of fitness stuff that you're probably not used to. But anyways, yeah, we're doing clean and presses today. Um, I do hope to hit over... I've, I, you know, it's been a long time since I've clean and press maxed out. So I really don't know what numbers we're shooting for today. I definitely would like to try and hit 260, maybe two. Uh, definitely. I know I can do 250. I'm almost certain he's peeing on me again. I'll be right back. All right. Well, that just happened. This went through a whole ordeal where Bruce peed on my uh, arm. It's great. Great morning. It wasn't bad or anything. I mean, it was just a few drops, but it just kind of made me go, oh my God, he's doing it again. But that's just what squirrels do apparently. Like I've been to a few squirrel pet forums and they all say the same thing where like one of the ways that squirrels will mark their territory, they pee on you a little bit, especially when they're juvenile like he is. He'll, he's probably gonna grow out of it a little bit, but that's just what they do. It just And it honestly just means he likes me and I'm, that he wants me to be part of, of his territory, kind of like how a dog will rub up against you and everything. Same thing with the cat. Cats will rub up against you because they want to mark their territory or mark their scent on you. Uh, and actually squirrels will rub their face and stuff on them too. But all I do when he does that is I've, I've like blow into his face just to kind of like make him go, hey, I don't like that. Um, so hopefully he'll lean a little bit more towards the rubbing, but you really can't just train it out of them. All you can really do is make sure that they use, they pee very often. So what we do actually um, is we take a paper towel and we lay it out and we basically just have him stay on the paper towel. And he's at the point where he understands what the paper towel is for now to where he almost, we can put him on there and he'll immediately go pee. So that's a pretty good way of doing it to the point where he's only dribbling a little bit. But uh, you gotta have a lot of spare shirts be willing to get peed on because it's gonna happen. It's just, there's no way around it. And really other than him peeing on us, it's the pee's not an issue because he's only in one area of the house and he's in a cage. So <laughs> uh, it's not really too much of an issue. He, he obviously, has the right to pee in his cage to mark his territory. And obviously Ajax wants to come inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you all go for now. But again, doing a power clean today, definitely shooting for over 250 on the clean and press. Sorry, I said power clean. We're doing clean and presses today, shooting for over 250. Uh, and I'm about to go stream for you guys real quick and I'm gonna put Bruce cam up. So it'll be cool. All right, well, I'm about to head towards the gym. I guess it rained while I was inside. I didn't even know it rained. Like it's all wet outside. But yet again, we are going to be doing uh, clean and presses, but this is one of those lists where it's not necessarily like just a strength exercise. It's also gonna rely a lot on form. Like quite literally, you can actually increase this lift by not just like increasing your strength, but you could just change your form up a little bit and you could possibly get a lift like better or even more weight uh, than you had before just because you switched your stance up or something. So for example, one of the things I'm working on is I need to be able to drop lower when I do a power clean. You guys will see whenever I'm doing power cleans that a lot, a big part of being able to get the weight there is by dropping low enough. But after that, after you get the bar up to the first position, the front, we call it the front rack. Uh, it's where you have the weight like up here. The reason we call it a front rack is because when your shoulders are up here, the bar is going to be right here and you're holding it in like a rack like position with your shoulders. But once you get it past that point, it's all just about like thrusting the weight up there, which I can I can probably get that up there pretty decently easy. I know for a fact I could probably get 225. My only concern is I'm a few days into my like diet week. Um, I did try to eat a lot of carbs right before I got there. So I'm letting that digest a little bit more too. So I'll probably do just a little bit of cardio and a little bit of extra warming up to let that digest before I just start lifting super heavy. But that's definitely gonna play a factor into how much I'm gonna be able to lift. Whenever I uh, do my maxes again, I'll actually, I more than definitely will be able to get a lot higher weights just because I'm gonna have all the access to those carbs and calories because whenever I'm doing a little bit more of a bulk, um, all that means differently for me is that I changed my diet up to where I'm eating above 
about 3,000 calories a day. Right now I'm sitting at about 2,600 calories. And like I said, I'm a few days into that. So that's that can definitely affect my lift. So we'll see how it goes today. I definitely hope I get above or around 250. That's what I'm shooting for at least. But really that's all just gonna depend on how my form goes. Like I said, I'm gonna have to focus on dropping my butt down a little bit lower. But without further ado, let's get them lifts in. All right, guys. So today we're gonna do a little voice recording, see how that does. Uh, I started the workout off with a little bit of foam rolling. Uh, I kind of just go over various different types of foam rolls right here just because I haven't gone over them yet. Uh, and I figured it'd be very beneficial even if you aren't doing any like heavy lifting or anything like that, even if you're just doing like cardio, doing a lot of running, whatever have you. Uh, this kind of stuff is definitely going to help you with any kind of fitness, uh, just because it's gonna help make sure the muscles aren't tight. And I actually use foam rolling a lot for trying to loosen up rather than stretching at the beginning of my workouts. Uh, I just don't like stretching at the beginning of my workouts just because it help, makes you lose a little bit of power. Uh, and we don't want that when you're lifting, especially. Uh, but you really don't want that anywhere. So I really highly recommend you don't stretch till the end of your workouts and do foam rolling instead at the beginning. It's really awesome. Uh, and it hurts. <laughs> so starting off with some warm up sets here. Um, I had a really bad angle right here, so I definitely switch it up here in a second. Uh, but as you can see, like when you see me do a clean, I'm working on dropping my body right here, there. It's all about trying to drop your body lower than the bar while the bar is still hovering up. You see, I still work on it here. Uh, and when I'm doing my warm up sets, I actually throw in a few hang cleans. Uh, I'm not doing them right here. I'm actually testing out my grips because I do switch my grip up a little bit during this, uh, which ended up being a little bit of my downfall. I used a lot of energy switching the grip up because I just did not, could not figure out which one I wanted to go with. Uh, ended up going with a little bit of a closer grip on this one, but I definitely do switch it up later. Uh, like I said, still working on trying to drop low, doing those hang cleans. A hang clean is just basically you're going down, not all the way, but down to your knees and then popping it back up, which is really useful for working on trying to drop lower. Uh, here I go for going for 205. Uh, this is where it starts getting pretty heavy. <laughs> you can tell in my face. Still got that one up pretty, pretty easy. Wasn't too bad. Uh, this next one definitely was a struggle bus one. Watch my face on this one. Up. Uh, yeah, that good old grunt. Good old grunt. <laughs> Dude, that scared me. <laughs> For real, it scared the shit out of me. I thought I was going to drop it on my arm. Uh, right here, I, I went ahead and took a, recorded my break because I do emphasize taking up to three to five minutes when you're maxing out uh, of just walking around trying to catch your oxygen uh, because it'll definitely help with your lifts and help you get uh, a heavier weight done. Right here, boom, this is the last one I got. The most struggle bus of all struggle buses. My headphones fell off, but look at this. What a boom, still got it, still got it. And that's the last one you're gonna see me get for the day because these next two I actually failed at. On this 245, I just could not get the clean up. I got spit out, um, didn't want to chance my back. And then on this last one, I just could not get the press in. But you know what, 235 ain't bad, uh, and I'm happy with it. We are done with the power clean. So I ended up getting 235. It was about round where I thought I was gonna hit. I tried for 245 at the end, didn't get it. And then I tried to drop it down to 240, almost got it. I got the power clean up, but I couldn't press it up. I was just gassed at that point. Um, but overall, pretty happy. Like I said, I think as as we start upping the calories again here in a couple months, uh, I think I'll definitely be able to get those a little bit higher. Uh, but again, I still need to work on my form a little bit. Like I said, the, the power clean is one of those exercises that you really really need to focus on the form and practice the form over and over and over and over again because that's really going to be a huge factor with what your PR is going to be on this lift. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're going to be trying to incorporate a little bit more with these vlogs later on. Uh, I've just been crazy busy the past couple weeks. As you can tell, I haven't even shaved. I look so gross. But a lot of exciting stuff is coming up, so I hope you guys stay tuned. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out! Thank <laughs> you.